especially in this matchup against Zoe. It can be used in the bottom lane as well for PvP, and Golden Feet can pick up, uh, you know, a, a mage into the mid lane. And that's usually how we see it go for both of these teams. The Zoe, I think, is going to be an important pick here, especially for Weibo Gaming, because we have seen so many games in which uh, Zoe just turns around fights. And even yesterday, we have seen that happen uh, for KBG and JDG. Just one incredible Padista allows them to just completely turn over the entire game. And now, we look to the bans. ADC priority here by BRU. Zai and Ezreal gonna be taken out. Ziggs, of course, is one of the favorites here of our APAC teams, and it's gonna be respected by Weibo Gaming. Yep. Good respect by Weibo. Uh, they're also going to respect the, the uh, potential of a Yone here. So, I mean, the Ziggs for VVV would have been really nice, but there are still quite a lot of uh, odd laners or dragon leaders that could fit the bill of what Ziggs is doing. Uh, Varus, if he wants to go for it, is still up. Uh, but Valdis is going to be going for the Lee Sin. Now, that just uh, puts a lot of... Um, it just puts a lot of pressure on the jungle matchup here, which looks to be... Ooh, that could be interesting if Fan goes for this Shivana. I mean, this Shivana has been recently buffed up as well, and it's gonna prove massive frontline ability here for Weibo Gaming since they do need it so much. They have the Jax, they have the Orn, they have the Shivana. So many peel can be provided to both Fei and the One Yu. And the lack of frontline here for Burrito Knight and Esports is gonna be a problem for them. They need to secure one more frontline, possibly. But since they picked up the Lee Sin, the Galio, and the Camille already, it's already too challenging since they need a mage as well to cover some AP damage here against Weibo Gaming. Nice last pick here on the Tristana. Oriana can fit the bill, but again, still, it's going to be a high pressure situation for Burrito United East for special because of all these front lines from Weibo Gaming. Yeah, Weibo has a huge, huge tanky front line protecting their incredibly squishy hyper carries. So that's something that could be taken advantage of by Burrito United if they can get into that back line. The ball delivery system, uh, very efficient here with the Lee Sin. But of course, he can also just go for these insect plays. A lot of uh, a lot of pressure is going to be on Valdus to perform here. I feel because that Lee Sin is going to be incredibly key in uh, both trying to get the lanes ahead and in the team fights themselves. Because as I said, he does have that huge responsibility of being the first in line in the back line uh, to get to that back line and try to isolate some targets for the team. Let's see if there's going to be any isolation for both of these teams. Kiting ability as well is going to be so important here. Wombo combo present here for Burir United Esports, of course. With the Camille, with the Oriana, Lisa, and even the Galio. And VVV should have a proper platform this time around to be able to maneuver around during team fights. But, cannot deny the amount of engage that Weibo Gaming has. So let's see who will prevail. Will it be Weibo Gaming or Burir United Esports? This is just game number one of this best of three series. First game of the day, ladies and gentlemen, let's get our blood pumping here. Weibo and Buriram ready and raring to go here. If you're an APAC fan, let us know in the chat. And if you're a Chinese conference fan, let us know as well. These are not us, <laughs> those casters, but uh, good job to them for being on the CN broadcast. Now, Fipper and Valdis are going to be seeing Zihan here. Uh, I like the initiative to scout out the jungle early on, but uh, see, I took a tiny, tiny bit of damage there. Thipper could use this small opportunity to get some lane dominance early on. I mean, uh, the screen we see is a little bit more advanced, and yeah. the one shown on the screen on our live stream bro, ah. is uh, us, if you watch it. Ah, I see. Yeah. I see. Because uh, what we see is, I think, the clean feed. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, right, we mentioned both of the strengths of both squads here. Of course, early game pressure can be established by Wata Jess and VVV since they do have the Lucian. It's not going to take so much time to scale up. But later on, the range and the burst is going to be a big problem here for Puriyam United Esports, especially because of the Buster Shot. It can deny the engage of Wata Jess as well. And they don't really have that much cap closer on their side. Yes, there is a Camille, there, there, there is also the Lee Sin, but it's too much of a vulnerability on both of these champs. They can easily get taken down and be denied as well. 
Yeah, especially if uh, if you get some Buster Shot off before the Hextech Ultimatum button can be pressed. Oh, that is a great Sleepy Trouble Bubble into Paddle Star Faith with some early uh, early lane damage here. Dipper and Xeon as well in the top lane scrapping it out. I feel like uh, Weibo Gaming just wants to push these lanes in as much as possible, not really, you know, play that laning game. They want to level up and scale up really quick. They have so, so much scaling. Jax, Zoe, Tristana, even Shivana. The scaling is insane if Weibo Gaming is going to be is able to make it to that late game. Early game, it's going to be a safe play here by Weibo Gaming. I don't think they are going to be engaging that much, especially that they do have the Shivana. They're going to be waiting for level 5 for sure. And then when he gets a dragon form, that's when he will strike. He has a faster wave clear as well compared to Valdus on the Lee Sin. So, bottom side of BRU needs to be extra careful. Fan is already level 5. They can engage if they do want to. But they will spot out the Shivana in the bottom lane after clearing out the ward. And that will signal BRU's bottom laner to just play passive. Yeah, great warding uh, vision control by what the Jess. Just to keep that Shivana away, knowing full well that that is a possibility. For the first gank as level 5 happens. Oh, that is just a lot of damage onto Golden Feet for basically free. The paddle start. Okay, that's great ball control there by Golden Feet. The flash Ooh. into the Sonic Wave, into the kill for Valda's first blood is there. The Orn Horn will not reach. Flipper is trying to keep his homie alive with the Hexac Ultimatum. Valdus, can you get to execute? No, not quite. So he still is credited for the kill, but Flipper and Golden Feet managed to get out of there. Great attempt at an escape, but it, it was just not happening. Quite unfortunate play there actually coming in from Valdus because the kill was handed over to Faye. And since he was the person who got the kill onto their mid laner, Gold Funneling isn't as efficient on BRU side. And it invested so much with Dipper going in as well with Hexic Ultimatum to try and stall it off. And that will be a key ultimate no longer available in the small skirmishes happening in the top side later on. Yeah, now that is uh, something that they have to be really aware of, but that they have to be more aware of this calling by VVV as Yi Chan takes so, so much damage there. But that was off of the back of what the Justice Justice Punch engaged. So, uh, good awareness. And B, are you really trying to get their early game advantage? Because that is really the only time when this bot lane is going to be stronger. Because in that mid game, when that uh, Tristana gets one, two items, and of course in the late game when she's full build, that Lucian is going to be significantly uh, less effective as he is in the early game. Can be. But the burst is going to be very important still here to target Faye later on. Great maneuver as well later on can be expected coming in from VVB. But it's mostly the Wombo combo that is having you know great potential here on the side of BRU that's going to be very important for at least the initial fights to enable their scaling later on so that they can have better map control. Because if they they keep letting this game just stall out, Weibo Gaming actually has more benefit towards the late game. That's definitely true. Weibo Gaming, I mean, they just have a billion scaling. <laughs> so, if literally four champions that scale uh, harder the longer the game goes. So, this is going to be a difficult late game for BRU if they do want to go that way. So, they are just trying to keeps so much pressure on the laners of Weibo Gaming yeah. in this early game. As you can see, even Valdus soloing that Drake, really not uh, not worrying about it because the Tristana was pushed out. There's the Hextech Ultimatum onto Zihan right under the tower. And there is Fan trying to go into Dragon Form right here. Oh. One more turret shot will not land onto Zihan. Good dive there. Will they reciprocate with a dive here onto the bot lane because Jichan is there? But so is Duan Yu now as Jichan tries to go for that headbutt into the wall. What the Jess is able to get out. Well, great gang coming in for Fan. Basically, just told, uh, just said to Tipper, Var, I'm here. And Dragon What's Form up? gets the outplay as well. And allowed th at least their Jax to be able to pick up one kill and not get killed. Yeah, I, I do like that the Jax didn't go in until the. Uh, I didn't go in on damaging Tipper until the, uh, the dragon was there already the Shivana because he was he wasn't tanking turret under that hexag ultimatum so a a great um great use of patience 
really, because if he started fighting there on the turret, he would have died because he just needed one more turret shot to take. So, good stuff there, really, really good stuff uh, that we can see. But right now, that leaves in a tiny, tiny bit underwhelming. What is overwhelming? What was that damage? And then the Sleepy Trouble Bubble, Colden Feet. One more auto attack! Faye did not thread in the auto attack there to get the finishing kill. Fortunately, was able to use the command for attack a while ago. But bottom lane, Baldus is here. Fan as well! It's a Jigno! Yeah, Weibo Gaming, back know. and engage. There's the Orn Horn coming in. Call the Forge God will fail away to knock up what the chest. They're out of there. Scott free. A lot of resources invested into this bottom lane gank by Weibo Gaming. And they got nothing so far, but they could still make something work here. Fan running out of time on that dragon form. Wants to back out. Valdis is there though. So he will keep them safe and then just waltz off. BRU, a team that is known to be notorious in the early game. Ooh, Faye getting caught out there is pretty huge there with Hextech Ultimatum. His Valdis is going to take that kill. Unfortunately, that it wasn't on Iron Fipper or Golden Feet, but if Valdis can utilize this kill and uh, leverage it to make more plays around the map, then all the better. Yeah, I mean, early game has been better on the side of Weibo Gaming so far. They have picked up two towers already on top of the kills that they have picked up. It's all. The only great thing that Viryu has uh, done so far is, well, some kills, they have picked up the dragon, maybe this bottom lane as well after the kick here by Valdus, they're still attempting to prevent them. Yeah, but then there's the engage as they try to go on to do on you, will not be able to take him down. But there is a sleepy trouble bubble, Valdus gets woken up by the Orn Horn fan is between Golden Feet and the rest of the team, he goes into the dragon form, he wants to get the damage, he wants to get these kills, what the Jess has to flash out, and they are out of there, 4 versus 4, and Weibo Gaming are actually the ones who come out on top in terms of positioning, because no one did die there. But it's oh, a close quarter here in the battle, Weibo Gaming almost had them, fortunately BRE was able to walk away after they have picked up the tower in the bottom lane but that's just a tier one topside has been picked up already by zihan against what? tipper despite him trying to defend desperately that's the amount of impact zihan has here in this game yeah he's just a classic jacks right now you know the the, the thonk thonk off of the turret he's split pushing this is uh very very classic jacks or classically saying to get that kick out to Chan. But unfortunately, no follow-up there from what the Jess fan forced to flash out. And this Galio's hoofing it. He has been exhausted. A desperate run away from what the Jess will keep Weibo Gaming safe. BRU as well. Just looking to fight back better here against Weibo Gaming. They need to be more proactive in this map already. They need to work around Valdus in trying to able VVV because later on he will scale down. Meanwhile, it's the exact opposite here on the side of Weibo Gaming. Shockwave damage hasn't really been leaving a dent here on Weibo Gaming as well. Don't see that much pressure coming in from Colden Feet. In fact, we do see him being pressured more on his side, especially with the prowess of Faye. Now they move towards bottom lane to maybe secure yet another tower, or at least prepare for the incoming objective, which is this, the next dragon, Zihan. Not spawning out Valdus. This can be a sneak play that he can actually do. Yeah, this dragon is going to be the next uh, area of battle, this next arena here. Fan will be able to start up. Zihan has been spotted out. Beer, you're a little bit hesitant to go for the fight inside the pit. They want to get an opening pick first, or maybe have Weibo Gaming clump up a little bit more so that they have a lot of uh, value on the ball. But Tipper goes in with Hexic Ultimatum. There's the hero's entrance as well. They managed to. Excuse me, isolate Faye, but he manages to get away with the flashes as Zihan re-engages along with Fan. What the chest in the middle of them all is going to get taken down. VVV trying to run away, will not be able to dash out of there as Colden Feet is the next target. He's able to flash over the wall, so is Thipper, but Valdus is left for dead there. Three kills for nothing for Weibo Gaming. Man, it's a clean ace coming in from Weibo Gaming and they will be able to get this dragon for absolutely free. Nothing that Purimunite can do in that fight, despite the setup, supposed setup that they have. And that's because of the amount of lead that Wave Gaming already has established in that game. And it was a perfect layering of setups coming in from Wave Gaming. What just was too isolated. The counter strike from Zian was just perfect. And it's just a crash of an event here against the BRU. Despite them trying to kick them off, dissuade them back. It's not gonna be the case. The one who keeps on getting the resets as well. 
And from 2,000 now to 5,000 of a lead by Weibo Gaming, this is starting to get out of hand. Yeah, this is kind of what we expected from Weibo Gaming, to be honest. I just didn't expect it to be this um, early. Uh, and because really, they have such a huge scaling comp, but they were pretty aggressive in the early game as well. So Valus really wasn't able to get too much value. Speaking of Valus, he did just go for the Dragon's Rage on the G Chan into the big Hexic Ultimatum. But that was a lot of uh, resources to blow for just one support there. But BRU will take any lead that they can get, especially since Baron just spawned. Uh, and they are going to try to chase after Zihan here, or at least try to put some pressure on this top lane turret. 4,000. They're able to at least recover a little bit, maybe even more as they secure this tower into the top lane. Zian still trying to defend. Tipper's gonna be here. Yeah, this is going to be just a run away, I think. I don't think they want to really engage here, even though Zihan and Fei are pretty strong. So, a very wise decision to just give that tower up, try to look for more opportunities around the map. Duan, you did push in that mid lane a little bit, but really, Weibo Gaming are just kind of being a little bit reactive uh, right now at this stage, you can see both VVV and Valdis up uh, there in the top lane. Um, we're just trying to wait for somebody to make a mistake of making it or going up there, but they once they saw Zihan, they were like, alright, he's not going to be coming up here, let's just leave. But again, constant pressure still by Weibo Gaming. With the Baron up, Weibo Gaming can just set up there and prevent BRU from being able to take it. Just two or three members of Weibo Gaming can actually start it up and take it down easily as they should. Tipper. Ooh. Valdis though, he knows that fans there. He can sweep. And there is the Hextech Ultimatum. They're gonna try to get a pick off onto the Shivana, but he goes golden. And there is the Orin Horn. The counter engage from Weibo Gaming is going to be huge here as the Shivana gets kicked away into the face of what the Jeff. There's two kills already for BRU. And I love that they're being oh. proactive, but oh no! In the middle of the fight, they already got two key members. All right. All right. Finally, after 20 minutes, <laughs> oh, longer lucky. than this game. Yeah. At least the game, the uh, game issue has been addressed already, and yeah. Chrono break back to approximately 13 minutes, almost a half, and no fights occurred. Yeah, at least uh, you know, at least BRU was able to kind of chill out and go back in. But unfortunate that they didn't actually get the credit for that fight that they were already winning, as Weibo Gaming has uh, decided to do you know the opposite of what they were doing, uh, and. Just try to escape, get some macro going, get some lane pressure going. Uh, especially there in the mid lane where they, they, three people are pushing. And this is a perfect time for Weibo Gaming to try threatening some, uh, some of these big objectives like the Baron. You can see Faye uh, just hovering around there, putting a ward in. And really, Weibo has a lot of leeway now, a lot of freedom on this map. Yeah, Zian as well, just split pushing in the bottom lane. He knows that he is uh, a bit of a head here against Tipper. Um, Tipper in the mid lane as well, not really answering back the push yet. They are grouping up here, and but even at the esports side, maybe they want to force the fight here into the mid lane. So far, no baits has been taken by Weibo Gaming. Yep, zero baits by Weibo. Uh, taken by Weibo, but uh, BRU, I love that they are still being, you know, very proactive. Uh, taking the initiative a lot of the time rather than you know sitting back and waiting for things to happen and then being reactive uh, even though they are behind this is very commendable because this is you know if they're able to find a pick or something that is a step on the ladder to getting back into this game let's see what's going to be the game plan this time around here for birdie united esports especially that they are the one with a ticking timer here super Engaged by Fab, but not really too, too much pressure, is still able to fall back. We see VVV as well, split pushing in the bottom lane. Oh, stop, not split pushing anymore, is that what the Jess is going to be there to engage. There's the Orn Horn onto two, unfortunately. They have left uh, what the Jess for dead here, and he will go down, even through that, uh, that stasis effect. And now this Ice Drake should be going over to Weibo. Uh, they really can't 
uh, get all too much going here unless... Oh god, that is so much damage from Faye. Infant Sleepy, Trouble Bubble, and then Zihan just leap strikes on him. There's a counter strike. They just re-engaged here. Good flash onto Faye. Oh my lord, what the... What damage from that Paddle Star Duan Yu? He's gonna go golden as he's exhausted there. The same Duan Yu squad comes in under the tower, and that is a four for nothing for Weibo Gaming. They also secured the dragon, so two dragon sacks pick it up here by Weibo Gaming, and potentially even just the Baron for absolutely free. It's only BBB that is alive here inside Barrier United Esports, only to tell the story that this game is pretty much one sided by Weibo Gaming, uncontested Baron, 7,000 gold lead going towards potentially 8,000 as they take this Baron and go for the push. Yeah, this is going to be an own coin that was denied on the BBB, but not the knock-up. There's a hero's episode to try to save him, try to get a little bit uh, of uh, damage here. Ji-chan is going to be running away, getting away with his life as Fang goes dragging for him in the middle of uh, BBB. And what the Jess, what the Jess once again gets taken out. There's a Hexec ultimatum, but he stays this is through it. Will Fang be able to get out? No, no he won't, just barely. Oh, good shockwave, but that's still a kill onto BBB. So that was at least a one for one. But now Faye gets absolutely assassinated by Valdus. BRU still showing signs of life here. Yeah, getting a couple of kills, shutting down some of the members here of Weibo Gaming, especially that Weibo Gaming just secured the Baron. But now only two members has the buff, and it is going to be a little, you know, um, hassle this time around for them to be able to push and also continue on the Baron power play. So far, BBV, 13,000 gold secured in this entire game. Only 1,000 gold behind Fan, which is the top gold earner here on Weibo Gaming side. Especially with the amount of shutdowns that they have sec secured over the past few, few, uh, you know, uh, past few minutes. Bloodthirster, Triforce, Mor uh, Mortal Reminder, all ready picked up. Those are some very, very... Uh... Like the devastating items, but now BRU, they are the ones to start off the Elder Drake. What a risk they're taking here, especially considering that uh, BBB is just making it there. Now it's already down to half. There's the Orn Horn coming in, Call of the Forge God onto the two at the top. They have been split in this fight. There's a calling. Valus tried to focus on the Drake, but he realized that nobody's there with him. As Cold and Pete has to run away. Unfortunately, what the Jess goes down, Valdus is the next on the chopping block because Fan is right there. And this is a three dragon Shibana as well. BBV at least is able to pierce the pierce him with some light, but won't be able to get get that kill. Yuchan, one HP. And he he had the thought to just do a little bit of damage so that the Elder Drake won't reset. But that's not really necessary as Fan is going to be there. BBV in the jungle of Weibo Gaming. Can he be the hero that they need? Does he have a, I, mean, I don't think he has the calling for this, but maybe a W, not even, as the uh, smite will take the Elder Drake's life. Great vision control coming in from Weibo Gaming. They have a pink war placed there in the Dragon Pit, and VV could not see anything happening there as well. And that's Elder Dragon being taken by Weibo Gaming. Now, this can be utilized later on to initiate more fights, especially through Fey, of course, with the Paddle Stars. Easy burst down later on towards VVB, and he's surely going to be the primary target of Weibo Gaming. And we need to be a lot more careful. Tipper's gonna be there to protect Fey alongside with Golden Field for sure. Still, the burst is gonna be real coming from Weibo Gaming. It is not only going to be real, it is already real. It's been something that BRU have been struggling to contend with, especially with Faye just wrecking everybody with his battle stars, with his sleepy trouble bubbles. It has been an, an uphill battle really for Golden Feet, and another uphill battle will be this fight because Fan engages with his dragon form into the Orn Horn as Valda takes quite a lot of damage. Ichan and Fan though have been rebuffed. They are incredibly low thanks to Golden Feet getting there uh, just a tiny, tiny bit late, but early enough to save his buddies. Great defense by BRU. Despite the Elder Dragon taken there by Weibo Gaming, they're still able to pull up a great fight against them. Baron has spawned, of course, is gonna be the target here of Weibo Gaming, but can never be so sure. Baldus has shown many times already, including last season, how he can be able to successfully steal out objectives. And in this case, it's gonna be respected by Weibo Gaming. Yeah, the respect being shown by Weibo Gaming is kind of unprecedented. 
really don't need to as they are oh. so ahead and really strong, but BRU is still very formidable, very scary, especially with most of them at level 15. Now VVV just getting chomped almost to death there. There's the Orin Horn, that'll be enough to get the Execute with the Elder Drake buff. What the Jess, look at CP Trouble Bubble sniped as he tried to get away. Oh, deeper, deeper though! He's trying to go for the Hexic Ultimatum, gets knocked up, gets immediately uh, taken down to almost 1 HP, but he's able to run away with the Hextech Shield. This time though, Weibo Gaming after killing BBB will have the confidence to take this Baron away, especially that Tipper is already low, Valdus is nowhere to be seen, being tracked already too late for the steal. Yeah, 0% chance of him to get there fast enough, especially since Fan also melts these things along with Duan Yu and Fei. Objectives just melt to Weibo Gaming, but they should be looking to close it out right now as there is just the mid lane turret standing. Can they can be you actually defend against this onslaught because that Baron is going to be no joke. Yep, they're already starting with a push. They have taken the in bottom side the in hip tower already. Mid lane top side is gone as well. BRU left standing in the base, nowhere to go, they have to defend. They really do, but right now there is no defending a one shot to the tower. The shockwave was attempted, but it got nobody Ornhorn horn on for one. The last stand here, the Nexus is the only thing left for BRU to defend. Baron up minions coming in and nobody dies except for the Nexus itself. Wavo Gaming take 1-0 and the...